Hey musicians, I am Dr. Mike Trubetskov and today I want to discuss with you double versus quad guitar tracking in heavy metal music. I come across a misconception about quad guitar tracks and that is four guitar layers by definition making your guitar sound huge and I don't believe that it is correct in all situations. So let's break it down and let's discuss it. Firstly, let's start off by defining what is double versus quad guitars. Double guitar tracking is when your guitarist plays his line twice and then pans them left and right. These are two separate takes, but they have to be really tied together and basically match to each other really well. Now, a case of quad guitars is basically the same thing, but performed four times. So you have four takes, two of which are panned left, and then two of which are panned right. Now, in my experience with quad guitars, actually the opposite may happen quite easily, especially when a guitarist performs a really technical part, say a fast riff, 16th notes of some runs, maybe string skipping, something crazy going on. In this instance, Quad guitars may blur the performance quite significantly. The more times you record the signal, the more you accumulate tiny minor differences in performances. And that is relevant with the chorus effect by definition, so that your left signal shifts a few cents down, then your right signal shifts a few cents up, and it creates this wide effect. But chorus by definition is a blurry application, so it doesn't make the sound focused, it makes it wide and less focused. When we listen to the quads, they sound like a swarm of uh, flies buzzing around you rather than the actual guitars. They don't sound tight at all and all these inconsistencies accumulate so significantly that they really, really take away from tightness. For quads, there is a really massive application and that is choruses of the track which are simpler. Maybe you are doing some huge chords uh, strumming sort of thing. That indeed would expand your sound significantly and could make it wider and bigger without sacrificing the detail too much because for chords you don't have that much detail anyways. The double-tracked part still sounds a little tighter than the quad, however the quad has a really cool mashed out sort of effect on chord strumming and also it has more mid-range as well as more mid-range blurriness. So in this instance quad tracking could particularly extend the sound palette of your simplistic guitar part. So to sum up this video, in my opinion quad and double guitars have its place in the production and they really depend on the guitar line that is being executed. For tighter productions I would aim for double tracking for the most cases. For more loose, atmospheric or maybe simpler style of guitar riffs I would safely execute quad tracking. What do you guys mostly use in your recordings? Are you on quad or double side of things? Let me know and if you have any questions I'm always here to help. Cheers! Mike.